Hey guys, it's Josh, the Nani Know It All, coming to you today to talk a little bit about the All Star game this year, whether or not it's going to happen, what it could look like, different things like that. Before we do, guys, please take a moment to consider becoming a Patreon supporter for Nani Know It All. It helps pay for the, the site, help, helps pay for the podcast, um, all the stuff that we're doing and hoping to do once sports get going. Uh, it just helps us out. Right now, it's kind of tough. I can't go out and do photos and do all that stuff. So, Right now, I'm depending on and trusting on uh, Patreon support to help keep the site active, help keep everything going. Uh, so when time does come for us to go full speed back into sports, it's going to be because the Patreon supporters were there. So whether it's just a dollar a month, two dollars a month, three dollars a month, or maybe you have a business and you want to advertise on 90 Know It All, the videos, the podcasts, I have options on there as well. Check it out. Click in the link below. Find out more information. But guys, let's jump into the All-Star Game talk. This year, 2020, the All-Star Game was supposed to be in Los Angeles. And I say supposed to be because I'm not sure there's going to be an All-Star Game this year. Uh, now, we all hope that games start by June 1st. That's the best case scenario. We would love to see that. Um, whether it's going to happen or not, I don't know. Um, odds say it's not going to happen. I'm kind of hoping it does, as do all sports fans out there. I want to get back to a little bit of sense of normalcy. But here's my thing. If it does start by June 1st, then I think we will have an All-Star game. It may be pushed back a few weeks uh, to be late July, maybe even 1st of August. And I'd be fine with that. You know, Changing the date makes sense. Not a big deal. People would understand. And I think they would rather have the All-Star game than not. Uh, if it's in, in the season. Now, if season doesn't start till July 1st, I don't think we have an All-Star game. Uh, there was some talk about possibly having the All-Star game after the regular season, and no, don't want to do that. Uh, someone pointed out, you know, if you're a Dodgers fan and your team gets beat, you don't want to go celebrate an All-Star game after the season, after your team's been eliminated. You still want to have that hope of them competing for a World Series. So I get that, completely understand it. Um, it just wouldn't be the same. Baseball has that, you know, that built-in break, which is one thing. When the season does start, let's say it starts June 1st or July 1st, and they do a lot of double headers. I know there's been talk of maybe double headers that are seven inning games, which if that's what it takes to get in as many games as possible, go for it. I don't care. Do it. Um, the more games we can get in, the better. And a built-in break, a three-day break, where you have a day off, all-star game, another day off, and then start games again, might be needed for players with that kind of schedule. Doing 14 innings minimum every day, because you go to extra innings in a game, it's going to add up those innings even further, even faster. You know, I, I think that break could be good. So you could have it maybe in August, mid-August, and give guys a couple days to really just heal up, get themselves ready to go again. And all the guys who are on the All-Star game, maybe really cut the innings they play. I mean, you already have the pitchers maybe throwing one inning each. But maybe expand the roster a little bit. Have guys go in, get one at bat, play a couple innings, and then get out. Next guy, next guy, next guy. And just, just keep it going so everybody can be an All-Star, but not kill themselves. And you can still get a chance to rest. That'd be big. That'd be huge. I think that break would be necessary. So so I think, you know, if it starts June 1st, there's still going to be an all-star game, I think. I think that's still pretty pretty viable. July 1st makes it a lot tougher. But once again, if they're doing double headers, that break, maybe in August, would be really needed. Um, that's a lot of innings. A lot of guys are going to be tired. Even with an expanded roster, that's going to be a lot on guys. Um, if the season doesn't start till August 1st, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think there's going to be a season at that point. I think a July 1st start is kind of the deadline. I'm saying July 4th. Um, that that week, that weekend, that's kind of the cutoff. At that point, it's going to be really tough to get a season in. Even if you push back the season into the fall, it's going to be tougher. But looking at the All-Star game, I mean, this was supposed to be an awesome year. L.A. hosting the All-Star game is an awesome spot. They've got some players who definitely would make the All-Star team. Um, you know, I, now I did see one person come up with an idea that I thought was kind of interesting. Um, if there is going to be an all-star game, 
everybody should vote for Dodgers and Astros players. Just everybody. doesn't matter what team you're a fan of. Vote Dodgers, Astros. So that way, when the Astros go up to bat, they can just be booed and torn apart by the Dodger fans. And then when the Dodgers go up to bat, there's this, whole, there's this overwhelming cheer and support. Imagine what the broadcasters would do. You could not avoid that if the entire stadium goes crazy booing the Astros and the entire stadium cheering the Dodgers. The broadcasters can't ignore that. You can't ignore it. You can't get just brush it off. It's something that had to be discussed, something that people would notice. Um, I thought it'd be kind of interesting. It's a cool idea. Uh, so if we do have an all-star game, I might push that out, encouraging people to vote that way. Uh, not because I want the Astros in the All-Star Game, but because I would love to see the Astros at Dodger Stadium for the All-Star Game. That's what I want to see. Uh, but guys, once again, I don't know about the All-Star Game. It's, it's up in the air. It's, well, I mean, the season's up in the air still. So if the season's up in the air, the postseason's up in the air, the All-Star Game is up in the air. Now, maybe this would be the perfect year to change things up. Do more of a skills competition. I've said it before. I love the Home Run Derby. And I love what the NFL is doing with their skills competition. That was fun. You know, I, I don't watch football very much anymore. I used to do it all the time. Not so much this year. But when they had the highlights of the skills competition, I stopped and watched. Because that was cool. I want something like that for baseball. I'm not sure what stuff you could do. But hockey has a skills competition. And that's the only hockey I usually watch during the year is that skills competition. You know, obviously... You get basketball has the slam dunk competition, the three point competition, that type of stuff. I love that stuff too. So I would like to see a skills competition. Even if they eliminated the game, said, hey, you know what? We're going to do home run derby. We're going to do some throwing competitions, this and that, whatever. I, I think that'd be cool. I'd be up for that. I'd be, you know, actually, I'd probably rather do that than an all star game really in a regular year too. So. It is what it is, you know, the All-Star Game. I hope it plays this year. If not, I hope that Major League Baseball is smart just to push everybody back a year and say, hey, next year, LA is getting it. Um, that's probably the smartest decision right now is to just say, hey, we're not going to do an All-Star Game this year. We'll move it to next year. LA will get it 2021. I know Kelly was looking at forward going down there. He's from LA. He's a diehard Dodger fan. He wanted to be down there for some of the events that happen around the stadium, that type of stuff. You know, hopefully that, you know, that gets figured out. They announce it early enough where people can adjust to it, maybe change their vacation plans or whatever they need to do. But I still want the I still want the All-Star game in, in L.A. I think L.A. deserves it. They've had some great teams, a lot of All-Stars recently, and it's a cool place. It is a cool place to have a game, to have a big event like that. Um, so, yeah, I think the All-Star game – will still be in LA whether it's this year or next year I think that in the end it gets moved to next year that's what I'm thinking but I would completely understand if they kept it this year to give guys a couple day break um, from the double headers whether they're seven inning games nine inning games they're still talking a lot of innings every day catchers are going to be tired pitching staffs gonna be wore out now, even position players are going to need days off more than usual with double headers like that so we'll see how things play out We'll see how long we're going to be confined to our homes, that type of stuff, and when baseball can return. Uh, that's going to be the big question. When it can return is going to be deciding factors what we can and can't do um, as a sport. So, so that, those are my thoughts, guys. You know, I I hope we get back to some normalcy pretty soon. Um, being inside is driving me nuts. I it's driving me nuts. That's, that's all I can say. My calendar went from being packed every day to empty for months and you know it's it's hurting not any know it all because I, I can't do what I want to do can't get out there but you know what whatever happens happens we'll figure it out and you know to all you who are out there keep safe if you're a first responder or you know in a position that is still working like a grocery store you got my respect I mean you got I wish you the best stay healthy wash your hands and guys let's uh, let's get through this as best we can so, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today just to talk about the All-Star Game. And once again, I hope it happens. See you guys later.